Name the only bird that can fly backwards. If you can answer this and a bunch of other questions, maybe you've got what it takes to... And here's your host, a man who holds an Olympic record for squat thrusts, Lou Schneider. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Make the Grade, the game show that gives my life meaning. A battle to answer questions in order to win cash and big prizes. Before we take a look at our board and our subjects for today, let's meet our players. Hello, players. Hello. Hi, Lou. Hi, you guys. We have seventh graders here today, and at the red desk, it is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Lou. Jeff, uh, when you're not playing Make the Grade, you like to listen to what kind of music? New Wave. New Wave. Any special groups that you particularly enjoy? I like the Pest Mode, the Kyo. Cure, Depeche Mode. Yeah, you too. Yeah, they're big, you know, these guys are big, big Make the Grade fans, so they're probably watching right now. And uh, also, you know, uh, you have a, someone you'd like to meet, who would that be? Bo Jackson. I wonder if Bo Jackson, you know, Bo Jackson knows baseball. Bo Jackson knows football. But does Bo Jackson know Make the Grade, Jeff? I don't know. We don't know. You don't know. Well, good luck today, <laughs> Jeff. Next to you, we have Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Lou. Brian, you collect something. What do you collect? Baseball cards. Big, big collection? Yep, like over a thousand. Over a thousand. Yeah. It's a lot of cards. So they, do they? Have you collected them from way back in uh, baseball history, or just pretty Not much? Not really. Present? Just since like a couple years ago. A couple years ago. But you keep going. You could have something very valuable there someday. Yeah. I threw out all my cards, Brian. <laughs> I wish I could help you out, but uh, I don't know who has them now. Anyway, good luck to you today. Next to you, we have Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Lou. Leslie, what do you collect? I don't collect anything really. No. Okay. No. I thought you might collect, uh, might collect something, but I guess not. What would you like to do someday? I want to be a marine biologist. Marine biologist. Uh, why is that? Um, I like, like working with whales and dolphins and like undersea things. Uh -huh. Interests me. Have you, ever, uh, have you ever done any diving uh, at yeah. this point? Mm -hmm. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Well, good. Good. Hope, uh, hope you enjoy that someday. I hope it, if it comes true, I hope you enjoy that. Anyway, mm -hmm. good luck to all of you. Let me explain how the game works. Look up on our board. You see we have seven grade levels and seven subjects. And the subjects for today are home ec, Math, Current Events, History, Geography, English, and the elective category for today is Animals. And uh, we'll hear more about that when it comes up. And in, uh, in order to win our game and advance the honors round, players, you must answer at least one question in every grade level and one in each subject. And you can do that in any pattern you like, be it diagonally or randomly or in rows straight across and up and down. If you're the first person to do it, you win $500. But then you go to the honors round with a chance at another $600 in prize money plus a great grand prize. Along the way, be careful behind some of those question squares we've hidden wild cards, including some fire drills, and those change the course of the game at a moment's notice, so kind of be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, Brian, you won the right to go first. Why don't you pick our first square and get us started here and make the grade? I'll take Comac Elementary. Okay, first question of the game. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. What baby item comes in disposable and cloth variety? Brian. Diapers. Diapers is right. Way to go. Go ahead, Brian. Of uh, Math 7. Math 7. On a watch, how long does it take the minute hand to advance from the 6 to the 9? Brian. Three minutes? No, incorrect. Uh, Jeff and Jeff. Three hours. No, that's incorrect. Uh, Leslie, I can read it again for you. On a watch, how long does it take the minute hand to advance from the 6 to the 9? Um, 15 minutes. That's right. 15 minutes. Well done there. Go ahead, Leslie. Um, I'll have current events 8th. Current events 8th. What TV game show is now the number one rated game show of all time? Jeff. Price is right. Incorrect. Brian, Leslie? What TV game show is now the number one rated game show of all time? Brian? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is absolutely right. That is correct. Make the grade. Uh, you know, I did, make the grade didn't appear in the answer, but it's got to be up there pretty high. Gotta, check your watches. It's probably number one right now. There. We just, we just went over the top. Go ahead, Brian. I'll take history for ninth. History for ninth. In the 1700s, Dr. Joseph Guillotin pr pr yeah. Propose the use of what device as a humanitarian way of putting criminals to death? Leslie. Electrocution. It's incorrect. I'll read it again. In the 1700s, Dr. Joseph Guillotin proposed the use of what device as a humanitarian way of putting criminals to death? Jeff. Electric chair. No. Brian? I no won't guess. read this question again. I almost couldn't do it the first time. No? The hint, the hint was in his name, Dr. Joseph Guillotin. He invented the guillotine. 
You in a very humane way. You just uh, chop the guy's head off. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, uh, geography 10th. Okay, ge uh, geography 10th. Here we are. What city in upstate New York shares its name with a kind of bison? Jeff. Uh, Brian or Leslie, what city in upstate New York shares its name with a kind of bison? Leslie. Buffalo? Buffalo is absolutely correct. Go ahead, Leslie. Um, I'll have Home Act 7. What household item now allows cordless communication? Leslie. Telephones? The telephones. Here we have the cordless phones now. Life is so much easier. Go ahead, Leslie. I'll have um, Current Event 7. Current Event 7. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar retired from what? Jeff. Basketball. Basketball is right. Retired after uh, many, many seasons with over 23 NBA records. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, I'll take math, 12th grade. If you draw a card at random from a full deck, what are the odds you'll get a heart? Jeff. 1 in 52. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Um, Leslie. Um, 1 in 13. 1 in 13 is incorrect. Brian, what are the odds you'll get a heart? 52. 13 out of 52? Uh, yes, that's fine. 13 out of 52 is right. There are 13 hearts. The question was for suits. One in four chance. Or 13 out of 52. Re again, players, reduce your fractions. <laughs> I can't say it enough times. Reduce those fractions. Make our lives easier, like the guillotine and the cordless phone. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. I'll take history seven. History seventh. Which of the original 13 U.S. colonies was named after Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen? Um, Virginia? Leslie, yes. Wait for your name. That's absolutely right. Good job. Go ahead, Leslie. Um, I'll have current events, um, eighth. Uh, okay. Anything okay. else? Um, I'll have current events ninth. That's fine. In Indiana Jones and the Lost Crusade, who played young Indiana Jones? Brian. Uh, River Phoenix. River Phoenix is what I was looking for. Well done. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, I'll take History 10th. History 10th. Okay, and ooh, oh. lose a square. Brian, you have to give up one of your squares. Which square are you giving up? Homec Elementary. Homec Elementary comes off of the green. And uh, you're still in business, Brian. Okay, I'll take Homec Elementary. All right. Chamomile, Earl Grey, and Oolong are all types of what? Brian. Soup? No. Uh, chamomile, Earl Grey, and Oolong are all types of what, Jeff and Leslie? Jeff. Pasta? No. Leslie? Chamomile, I don't know. Earl Grey, and Oolong? No. Hmm. I thought those were the names of the three musketeers. No. That's tea. They're names of teas. Chamomile, Earl Grey, and Oolong all are teas. Okay, go ahead, Brian. Okay, English elementary. English elementary. In the nursery rhyme, if it's raining and pouring, what is the old man doing, Jeff? Snoring. He's snoring. Okay, Jeff. I'll take geography 11th grade. Geography 11th, and that is a fire drill. All right, move out, everybody. Come on into position. Okay. And this is what we call the black hole. What you players do when I give the signal, uh, you'll turn around, you'll begin firing footballs into these uh, black holes. The first person who can hit the colored target that corresponds to their colored desk uh, will light the light and uh, be our winner. The first person is the winner. The other two people must compete for second and third places. When we're all finished, stay right where you are, and I'll, I will move you back into position, okay? Okay, turn around, guys, but don't throw anything yet. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, stay behind the yellow line. Good luck to all of you. Excuse me. Go. Okay, keep throwing, keep throwing. You gotta keep throwing. Only person who can stop is the green. Stop if you're green, keep throwing if you're red and blue. Nail that target. There we go. Okay, stop right there. Okay, where's my winner? Excuse me. Ryan, you're our winner. Where are you going? I'll take, uh, I'll go back to green. Okay, you can do that. And, uh, Jeff, where are you going? Blue. Okay, go to blue. Leslie, you know where you're going? Maria! Black hole was pierced by Brian, who goes back to green. Jeff goes from red to blue, and Leslie goes from blue to red. Okay. Good fire drill there for uh, Brian. He decided to keep his spot. He liked where he was, and he uh, also ensures himself of uh, the fact that he'll control the board at this point by winning that fire drill. He'll pick the next square. Go ahead, Brian. Okay. Geography Elementary. Geography Elementary. 
What United State was formed by volcanoes and was, uh, Brian? Hawaii. Hawaii is right, and was the last to join the Union. Last state to join the Union. Okay, go ahead, Brian. Uh, Don't do anything yet, Brian. That is the sound ending round one. We'll be right back to play round two and see who goes on to the honors round right after these important words. Come right back. Okay, we are back, and it's time for round two. We're in the middle of a good one right now. Uh, Brian is our leader at the green desk. He has three subjects and four grade levels. He's ahead of Jeff, who's at the blue, with four, grade, uh, four subjects and two grade levels. And Leslie is just in back in third place at the red desk. But we have a lot of game left to play, lots of questions, and there's a fire drill up on that board, up on that board somewhere, so look out. I uh, should also remind our players that if no one completes their scoreboard as round two expires, the player who has come closest to doing so at that point will be declared our champion. That person wins $500, then goes to the honors round with a chance at another $600 and a big grand prize. But we're still a long way from that point. Right now, Brian, you're going to get us started here in round two by picking the first square. Go ahead. All right, I'll take English seven. English seven. Take a square. Good start for you. Okay, Brian, take an opponent's square. I'll take history seven. History seventh. That comes away from Jeff's board, goes over to you, and uh, you are still in control. Okay, um, hmm. math tenth. Math tenth. That is a fire drill. Okay, move out, everybody. Okay, you can, you can turn around and face the uh, front there. Here's what's going to happen. Excuse me, let me slide in. Uh, what happens here, uh, you are in the Nickelodeon uh, rodent propulsion uh, project. This is uh, what we call rat launch. You're going to take these uh, rats, you're going to put them onto uh, this uh, platform here. You take the hammer, you hit this part here, boom. Off goes the rat, hopefully landing on that rat trap. The first person to spring the trap is the winner. The rat doesn't have to be trapped in it, just actually has to set off the trap. First person who does it is the winner. The next two people must compete for second and third places. Stay right where you are when you're finished, and I will move you back into position, okay? Okay, let me get out of here. On your mark. Get set. Go! You gotta really whack it. Really whack it. There we go. Now you're getting close. Oh, there we go. There's our winner. Keep going, keep going. Green and, blue, green and red have to keep going. There we go. Close. Not blam. Nope. Point. No. There we go. Getting close there. There we go. Good shot. That should have set it off. That should have set it off. Judges, we got it. We got it right there. Okay. Judges, stay right where you are. Excuse me. Let me come over here. Jeff, you're our winner. Where are you going? Green. Going to green. Leslie, where are you going? Blue. Blue. Go to red. I'm going back. Maria! Rat launch was landed by Jeff, who goes from blue to green. Leslie goes from red to blue, and Brian goes from green to red. Okay. Good job there, Jeff. He has improved his position by winning that fire drill. He's moved into the green desk. Jeff, you also control the board, very importantly at this point, as the game uh, moves into the later stages. Okay, Jeff, go ahead. I'll take English 11. English 11. Who wrote The Gift of the Magi? Uh, Leslie. Hans Christian Andersen? No, good guess, not correct. Jeff and Brian, who wrote The Gift of the Magi? Brian. Charles Dickens? Uh, another good guess, not correct either. Jeff? Hmm. No, no guess there. Okay, O. Henry. O. Henry, o. Henry famous uh, short story. His real name, by the way, is William Sidney Porter. Didn't know that. Famous story. Okay, there. Go ahead, uh, Jeff. I'll take Animals 11. Animals 11. First question in the elective category relating to non human creatures, and that is. What is the largest land animal? Jeff. Elephant. Elephant is right. The African bush elephant is 10 feet 6 inches tall on the average and weighs 6 tons. OK, go ahead, Jeff. I'll take English 10th grade. English 10th. The writer Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra, who wrote Don Quixote, was from what country? Brian. Spain. Spain is right. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, I'll take um, math eighth. Math eighth. Name two letters used as Roman numerals. Brian. V and I. V and I would be fine. Perfect. The others are M, D, C, L, X. Go, Brian. Okay, history ninth. Can't be done. Okay, history eleventh. 
Andrew Johnson took over as president after the assassination of who? Brian. John Adams. Incorrect. Jeff, Leslie, Andrew Johnson took over as president after the assassination of whom? Leslie. Monroe. No. Jeff? Jeff. Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln is right. Andrew Johnson was Abe Lincoln's vice president. Go ahead, Jeff. Home Ec, 10th grade. Home Ec, 10th grade. That is a take. All right, that's going to help you, Jeff. You have to take an opponent square. Whose opponent? Uh, English square 10. Are you taking? Red, English 10. Red, English 10th. Okay, that comes off. Goes over to you. And you still are in control. Go ahead. Home Ec, 8th. Home Ec, 8th. He's going for the game on this question. What appliance blends, chops, purees, and liquefies, Brian? Uh, processor, food processor. A food processor, I will accept. I would al also have accepted a blender. Well done. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, current events, 10th. Current events, 10th. The dance craze, Lombada, originated in what South American nation? Brian. Uh. No. Jeff and Leslie. Jeff. Brazil. Brazil is right. The Lombada. I'm crazy for that dance. Go ahead, Jeff. Home Act 9th. Home Act 9th. According to table etiquette, glasses of water should be placed on what side of the... Leslie. Uh, the left. Incorrect. Uh, Jeff and Brian, I'll read the... Jeff. Right. Right. Nice job. The right. The top upper right should be placed on what side of the plate? The right side. Okay. That is the winner right there, Jeff. With that question, you are our winner. Filling in that home at category sort of snuck up on me there, but Jeff, you filled that in beautifully. That gives you $500 as well. As the victory, you'll also be going to the honors round with a chance to pick up another $600 and a great grand prize. Beautiful job. Uh, because you buzzed in and uh, were able to interrupt at that point, uh, we didn't get a chance to tune the audience into that, but you were one square away. You picked up that home ec question. That got you what you needed, and you've completed your scoreboard, getting one in every grade level and one in each uh, subject. Leslie and Brian, great games from both of you today. You uh, both played very, very well. A lot of exciting action, including two big fire drills, which changed things a lot. You see how that can play a part in the game. Uh, we don't send you home empty-handed. For both of, you, both of you, we have $50 each and some tremendous consolation prizes. Why don't you tell us about those, Maria? Okay, Lou. Each of our contestants received British Knights. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BKs. British Knights athletic footwear for guys and gals. Brighten your days in a pair of BKs. British Nice, the right move for you. And our runners up receive Fester's Quest. Uncle Fester and the Adams family have returned. The wildest alien encounter in video game history. Fester's Quest for the Nintendo Entertainment System from Sunsoft. And the hottest looks in swimwear comes from Sasson. At the pool or on the beach, Sasson swimwear for girls and boys makes a splash. Back to you, Lou. Okay, we'll be right back with Jeff here to see if he can win the honors round and maybe go home $600 pitcher and with a great grand prize right after these words. Okay, we are back with Jeff here. Jeff, you've done a great job so far. Uh, before we get into this, uh, anybody you want to say hello to out there? Well, I like to say, like, hello to my mom, dad, Jay, Anthony, Neil, anyone else I forgot. Anyone else? That, that's like the Academy Awards. And, right. and everyone else, this one's for you! That's what they always say. You nervous, Jeff? No. No! no. I live here! This place, Jeff is going to convert this place into a patio when the whole thing's over. Jeff, you're a cool customer, and I hope it works out for you. So far, you've done very well. You've won $500, but now you're going to the honors round. You have a chance to pick up another $600 in prize money, plus a great grand prize, which you're going to hear about in a few seconds. Uh, first, let's explain how it works. We have three categories. You're going to choose one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions within that category. And your category choices for today are colors, birds, and three-word names. Which one of those categories would you like to pick? Colors. All right, we've taken colors and divided it into seven different subjects. And the subject's uh, questions as I go through them, uh, if you don't know the answer to one, you can pass it, and you'll get another question in that subject. Uh, same thing if you get one wrong, I'll give you another question in that subject. So I'm, I'm bending over backwards here, Jeff. So uh, <laughs> trying to make it work for you. You'll, give it, you'll get $100 for every one of these questions you get right. If you get all seven right, you'll get $600. And for that last correct answer, you will get this terrific grand prize Maria's going to tell you about right now. Jeff will be flying you to Universal Studios Florida, home of Nickelodeon Studios, where you can ride the movies, live the action of blockbuster movies at the largest motion picture and television studio outside of Hollywood. You'll be staying at the Howard Johnson, located at the entrance of Universal Studios Florida. The hotel is just minutes away from all Central Florida attractions. Good luck. 
Okay, that sounds great to me. I hope it sounds good to you. Your 45 seconds will not start until I finish reading your first question, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we're boxing your head right now. Good. Heads in a box. Here we go. <laughs> the arts. In the blank of money, Tom Cruise and Paul Newman starred as pool players. Oh. Right. Geography. Name the world's largest island. Greenland. Right. In the revolu history, in the Revolutionary War, a British soldier was called what? I don't know. A Tess. what? Sorry. Uh, home ec. What kind of moldy cheese is also a type of salad dressing? Green cheese. Incorrect. Music. What color was w the rain in an album and movie by Prince? Purple. Right. Phys ed. What is the name of Cincinnati's pro baseball team? Reds. Right. Science. What are the tallest living trees also known as sequoias? Redwoods. Right. History. In the Civil War, what color was identified with the Confederate Army? Gray. Right. Home ec. Cayenne and chili are hot varieties of what color pepper? Green. Incorrect. Uh, oh, that is six. That's it. That's all. You, you had already burnt all the questions. You'd gotten through them, but you had missed one. The questions that you missed were all both in the home ec. What kind of moldy cheese is also used as a type of salad dressing? Blue cheese and cayenne and chili are hot varieties of what color pepper? Red. So you got, uh, you did a great job. You won 500 from the first part of the game. And for, you also got six questions right here. That's $600 here. That's 1100 bucks. So the only thing you missed out on is a trip to Florida. With that kind of money, you can buy your way to Florida, my friend. You did a great job. We enjoyed having you. Thanks for playing. And we hope that you had fun. We'll see you all next time on Make the Grade. Bye, everybody. Name the only bird that can fly backwards. A hummingbird. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Melito. Hey, Lou, does this show really give your life meaning? Me too. See you next time.